To modify a test, click on Tests. Find your test by scrolling or searching, then select it. You'll then see three tabs at the top. The first tab is the Candidates tab. If you haven't invited anyone yet, it will show an invitation page. Otherwise, you'll see any candidates who have either been emailed an invitation link or who have taken the test through a public link. This is also where you can review results sorted by their global test score. By clicking on a candidate who has taken the test, you can see the candidate's score and ranking compared to other candidates for the same technology and the same level. It will also give you access to the recording. The next tab is the Questions tab, where you can make changes to your test content, such as adding or deleting a question or a random block. A random block is a list of questions that can make up all or part of a test to help prevent cheating. Each candidate is evaluated with a random selection of questions taken from the list, but all questions have the same job role, domains, technology, and level of difficulty. For example, we have the data science Python block here. Each candidate will receive around three questions randomly selected from this list. You can easily view the questions a specific block contains by clicking on it. Then, by clicking directly on a question, you can access the preview as the candidates would see it. If you want to add a specific question and make it mandatory for the test, click on the Add Question button. You can then search or filter to find related questions. Once you find what you want, drag and drop the desired question to the left and it will then be included every time a candidate takes this specific test. To remove a question that you have previously added as obligatory, click on the three dots to the right of the question name and select Delete. Similarly, to exclude a question from a random block, just click on the three dots and click Exclude. If you change your mind, you can repeat the process and select Include this time. Remember to hit Save after making any changes. The third tab is the Test Settings tab, which is where you can either rename your test, add or change the languages you want the questions to be answered in, define the number of days after which invitations expire, select whether candidates will receive a simplified report at the end of their test, and choose whether you would rather a timer per question or a timer for the entire test. Under Test Integrity, you can choose whether to prevent candidates from copying and pasting code, enable AI-generated follow-up questions to challenge candidates' replies when there is a suspicion of cheating, such as copying, pasting, or using another candidate's code, enable webcam proctoring if this feature has been activated on your account. If you make any changes, Make sure that you save them before going into any of the other options. The Communication tab here will either use the default version you've created, which we will cover in another video, or a custom version for this test. This is also where you can access your default test settings, create a public link for your test, or share the test with another paid account. If you have multiple paid accounts under the umbrella of the same company, you can use the same test by sharing this test with another account.